Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach. I follow Weight Watchers and I count calories and macros. It's Monday. So it's meal prep day, and I have three amazing recipes that are super, super simple. So if you're excited, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell is turned on because I do a meal prep every Monday. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly recommend this. This is how I've lost well over 130 pounds. And I have one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like accountability and to talk with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things, and of course my Facebook group. Head on over, join us there. We'd love to have you. I will also link my recipe website where you will find all of today's recipes at the very top of the description box. So we have some cooking to do. Let's jump in. Let's go outside. The snow is falling down and every child is having so much fun. The snowman is twice the size as me with a smile as quirky as mine. We're holding For breakfast this week, I am making pumpkin pecan coffee cake. I'm really excited for this. My plan is to pair this with some type of protein, whether that be bacon, turkey bacon, eggs, or both, but this is going to be kind of a sweet addition to my breakfast. So let me show you what's in our recipe. First, you're going to need all-purpose flour, brown sugar substitute. As always, I'm using Lakanto Golden. I love Lakanto's products. For me, they taste the most like real sugar. I will link Lakanto down below with 15% off site-wide. You can order anything on their website with the link below for 15% off. You also need some unsweetened applesauce, non-fat Greek yogurt, light, butter, baking powder, baking soda, pumpkin pie spice and cinnamon, pumpkin puree, vanilla extract, eggs, and last but not least, some pecans. So the first thing we're going to put together is the crumble topping for our coffee cake. So I have one cup all-purpose flour, one cup Lakanto Golden. We're going to add in some cinnamon. And then I have six tablespoons of light butter cold right out of the refrigerator. And basically what I'm going to do is just cut that in to the flour, brown sugar, and cinnamon mixture until that crumble is created. And then I have one cup of chopped pecans. I'm going to add half of that in with the crumble mixture. So here's what your crumble should look like. Go ahead and set that aside. Now for the coffee cake portion, we're going to add one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one cup of Lakanto Golden. I don't think I showed you, but we're gonna need just a pinch of salt. And by the way, these gravity-fed salt and pepper grinders are on sale right now on Amazon, so I'll link them down below for you. We're going to add in pumpkin pie spice, and then a teaspoon each of baking soda and baking powder. dry mixture, we're going to add one half of a cup of unsweetened applesauce. That is the oil replacement in our recipe. One third cup of non-fat plain Greek yogurt. Three quarters of a cup of pumpkin puree. Two eggs. And about a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Then we're going to mix until it is all incorporated. And that's the batter for the coffee cake. We're going to spray a 8x8, 9x9 baking dish with some nonstick cooking spray. Here is what the coffee cake batter should look like. We're going to add that to the bottom of the baking dish. Then we're going to take that crumb mixture and spread that right on top. And then we have that other half of a cup of chopped pecans. That's going to go right on top. We're going to put our coffee cake into a 350 degree oven for about 30 minutes. Keep an eye on it. If your top starts to brown, go ahead and cover it with some foil, but we want to make sure that a toothpick comes out clean. Look at this coffee cake. I mean, this gives me all the coffee shop bakery vibes. It smells incredible. I'm so excited for this. I will go ahead and put serving size, points, calories, all the macros, everything here on the screen for you. And again, I'll pair this with some type of protein, but it's going to be such a great fall breakfast. For my 
lunch this week, I'm making teriyaki meatballs. I've been craving meatballs, craving teriyaki. You could pair this with rice, potatoes, or you can eat the meatballs all by themselves. That's probably what I'm going to do. I do have some Idahoan potatoes in my cabinet, so I may make some mashed potatoes with it. I also have some jasmine rice. We'll have to see what the week brings, but let me show you what's in the recipe. First, you're going to need breadcrumbs, salt, and pepper. Don't forget, I'll link these down below for you guys on Amazon. Soy sauce, brown sugar alternative, again, my Lakanto Golden, rice wine vinegar, avocado oil or olive oil, sesame oil, minced garlic, two eggs, fresh ginger, cornstarch, you'll also need some water to make a slurry, 93 or 96% extra lean ground beef, some fresh green onions, and a orange and red bell pepper. So the first thing I'm going to do is wash and dice up the bell pepper and the green onions. So to get started on our meatballs, we're going to add one pound of 93, 96% extra lean ground beef to a bowl, one quarter cup of breadcrumbs, two eggs, about two teaspoons of ginger, a couple of teaspoons of minced garlic, and some salt and pepper. Lastly, we're going to add about half of the green onions. And the best way to do meatballs is to dig in with your hands, mix everything together. I did spray my nonstick baking, I did spray my baking sheet with, sheet with some nonstick cooking spray. I'm gonna roll the meatballs out, put them on the sheet pan. It doesn't matter how many meatballs we get, we'll figure out how many go per serving after we've rolled them out. Hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir perform and all the Christmas songs that we love. Get yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love. And in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire. Cause all I want is So our meatballs are going into a 400 degree oven until they are cooked through. While they're in the oven, we're going to make the teriyaki sauce. So over medium heat, I have a skillet warming up with one tablespoon of avocado oil. I'm going to add in about a teaspoon of my minced ginger. And we're going to add our chopped up bell peppers. We're going to let these saute down until soft. I'm also going to add in about a teaspoon of minced garlic. Once your bell peppers are soft, we're going to add in half a cup of soy sauce, half a cup of water, a quarter cup of Lakanto Golden, two tablespoons of rice wine vinegar, and one tablespoon of sesame oil. We're going to allow this to simmer. So I added one tablespoon of cornstarch, one tablespoon of water to make a slurry. We're going to add that to our teriyaki sauce and allow it to thicken and then go ahead and remove it from the heat. So I just pulled the meatballs out of the oven. Oh my goodness, do these smell good? So I'm going to use my tongs. I'm just placing them into the storage container and then we'll add the sauce directly on top. These look so good. Here is my teriyaki sauce. It's nice and thick. We're going to just pour that right on top of the meatballs. We're going to garnish with the rest of the green onions. And then I want to throw on some sesame seeds too, just for an added little bit of taste and texture. And here are the teriyaki meatballs. These look so good. Like I said, you can eat them by themselves, serve them, serve them with rice, potatoes. We'll go ahead and put serving sizes, points, all the macros and calories here on the screen for you. But this is going to be such a good kind of salty, sweet, high protein lunch. For dessert this week, I'm making slow cooker apple crumble. You can make this on the stove top, but I'm gonna throw it in my slow cooker so that it can get nice and flavorful over the cooking time. So let me show you what's in the recipe. You're going to need some rolled oats, some flour. I'm gonna substitute the Kodiak protein packed power flour because it's going to give me 10 grams of protein per quarter cup. It's a great flour replacement to just up your protein. It tastes exactly like regular flour. I'm pretty obsessed with this. Really, really happy I found it. 
it. It's from Walmart in the flower section. I'm sure other stores carry it, but I always find it at Walmart. You're going to need some light butter, sugar substitutes of your choice. So I have Lakanto granulated and Lakanto golden. Don't forget it is linked down below with 15% off site wide. Some salt, vanilla extract, some cinnamon and five fresh apples. So the first thing I need to do is peel and dice my apples. Now you can leave the peel on your apple if you want. I actually don't mind the peel, but I am going to go ahead and peel them and dice these into chunks. All I want is to spend this day with you. Let me give you a Christmas. A moment will fill with love and joy. It's so a beautiful kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you. Ooh, ooh. I don't need any presents. So into a bowl, we're going to add half of a cup of Lakanto Golden, half of a cup of Lakanto Granulated, cinnamon, salt, and our diced up apples. Give that a stir. Make sure those apples get coated really well in the granulated and the brown sugar. And here's what your apples should look like. For the crumble topping, I have two thirds cup of rolled oats, two thirds cup of Lakanto golden, a quarter cup of that Kodiak protein flour, salt, three tablespoons cold light butter, about a teaspoon of vanilla extract. We're going to mix this together similar to our pecan coffee cake, kind of chop that into the mixture to create that crumble. I'm going to go ahead and add my crock pot liner for easy cleanup. We're going to add the apples to the bottom of our slow cooker. Spread those out nice and even. So here's our crumble. We're going to put that right on top. Again, spreading that out evenly. This looks so good. You can put this on low for four hours or high for two hours. I'm going to go ahead and put mine on high for two hours. And here's the slow cooker apple crumble. Again, my house smells so fall with the apple crumble and the coffee cake and all those and the meatballs. Everything smells incredible. This was so easy. Literally throw it in the crock pot, set it, forget it. I will go ahead and put serving size, points, calories, macros, all the information here on the screen. We're going to pair this with some whipped topping or some vanilla halo top. It's going to be the best dessert this week. Give you a Christmas a moment will fill with love and joy. So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you. Ooh, ooh. I don't need any presents as long as I spend this day with you. Thank you for joining me for this week's WW Meal Prep. I hope you're excited about these three super simple yet amazingly delicious recipes. And if you are, give this video a big huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell's turned on so you don't miss a meal prep or any of the other videos that I upload every single week. Don't forget my recipe website, nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and my Facebook group are all linked down in the description box for you. Happy Monday, friends, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. Jingle bells ringing in my ear.